Dude, I know you're trying to go to in and out right now. <laughs> no, Cam, don't. I just threw away the evidence. I just hit freaking Wendy's because I was so desperate to eat that I had to go get Wendy's. Oh my God. There's nothing, there's freaking nothing around here. The in and out is 12 miles away. So let me, let me there's tell you. in and out in Texas? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I had no idea. Have you never been? Oh, I love in and out oh. It's just been a long time. <laughs> okay, I was, I was gonna say you're gonna be let down. Now, no, okay. what? So if you had to choose between five guys, okay. in and out let's, go, let's say Shake Shack. Oh, okay. And I can't think of another one. Those three, what would you pick? Because um, I know mine. Probably five guys. Yes, 100%. Probably five guys. And I have five guys. The issue is, in and out's just special because I only ever get it on the West Coast. Yeah, it's it's all, it's okay. Yeah. How pumped are you to get your nose violated right now? Well, they're not violating. They're not doing full violation, are they? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> just just minor violation. Okay. Is it is it full violation or is no, it half violation? No, partial violation. Okay. No, I don't feel that violated. Good to know. We're doing okay. okay. We're doing good. <laughs> Get her done, brother. I mean, it's, it's a stick up your nose, but it's not. <laughs> I've recovered already. Ninety-eight-one. <laughs> this is your first COVID test, right? Mm. Okay. Same. <laughs> oh yeah. Feel that in the eyeballs, huh? Oh man, I would have hated that full one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because yeah, that was the, that one's still oh, sucking. You're that crying. was literally nothing. <laughs> it just tickles. It tickles. Yeah. <laughs> so we're sitting here with our tests, and like the line is developing on them. Okay, so the question is, does C stand for clear, or does that mean, or does COVID? that mean COVID? <laughs> Because I'm, I got C. And I got C. Okay. <laughs> we well, technically we failed, but we passed. <laughs> Heck yeah. Nice. All right, step one complete. Now this is the moment that I'm most worried about because my credentials better be here. <laughs> so we pass our tests in a good way, and we're getting our credentials and stuff. And it's hard to. I'm gonna take a moment to try to describe what's happening right now. Obviously, AJ asked me slash hired me to come and um, shoot all of his videos for Supercross. And of course I'm gonna do my best to make my own as well. COVID's making it a little interesting cause we gotta like see where I can film from and all that stuff. So that's what he's asking about right now. But it's like something I keep trying to tell people is that this was not a dream of mine. Like filming Supercross was not a dream of mine because it completely seemed untouchable. I mean, I've been racing dirt bikes since I was a little kid and I'm a full-time filmmaker now and, and that's what I love to do and these are my two worlds put together, you know? So leading up to this, I've been talking to people about it and just trying to describe to them, like, I mean, this doesn't even feel like real. I mean, I, somebody asked me if I was anxious about it and I'm like, I'm anxious to just get here because then it's a reality and it's not, it's just, it's not a dream anymore. I haven't slept in a week. I mean, I'm just pumped, man. I'm, I am kind of speechless. I can't believe that this opportunity opened up and it all started with, I DM'd, AJ on Instagram like a year and a half ago. And now I'm gonna be, you know, around my heroes, just with my camera, just <laughs> filming stuff. I mean, it's, it's the coolest thing ever. So I'm so thankful to be here, man. I mean, the, the I just never, never thought that this would even be a possibility. Like the other thing I, I gotta say is I've never been to a Supercross race. I've like, I've wanted to, like my dream, that's, that's the thing. My dream was not to do this. My dream was just to go and watch one. And now I'll be here for hopefully the entire season and shooting all of them, which is ridiculous, so. Where are we near? Kind of tucked away a little bit funky. What do you mean? Uh, we're ne ne next to Alpine Stars. Maybe I could they got some new freaking boots. Oh, can you give me some too? Oh, <laughs> you should see the color of the ones that I have. They're. Jason describes them as walrus tusk. Oh walrus tusk yellow. That's hey. That time you get here. <laughs> Hit that. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would hit it on a uh, one of those mountain bikes that has the fork suspension, but the hardtail back, like a dirt jump. Yeah, a dirt jump. Yeah, yes. I mean that's what you would hit that on. I wouldn't hit it on a BMX bike. Yeah. Okay. Bro, those are those are huge. I'm telling you, bro. YouTube doesn't do any of this. Justice. No, it does nothing. Just nothing. And I haven't even seen the track yet. You should see how high those shoot that around. You're not getting goggles until tomorrow. <laughs> Who needs them? I, I, <laughs> I actually I brought a bunch just anticipating that. That's what happened. That was Mitch Payton, by the way, that I just asked that question for. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to not freaking push these stupid bags around. Yeah, I feel that. It would be the furthest one away, huh? Always. You're on it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hello. <laughs> this isn't a terrible room. No, not at all. Okay, so we passed our COVID test. We got our credentials. We are now going to dinner. We're going to Fogo de Chao. Let them know. Photo what? Fogo. Fogo. Day. Day Chow. Day Chow. I don't think that's how you say it. But. <laughs> well, I've never been. I wouldn't know how to say it. So anyway, apparently it's going to be great. I'm pumped. Dude, tomorrow morning's freaking Supercross. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it, bro. Do you sleep before Supercross? Like, yeah. You're going to sleep tonight? I sleep fine. I just get, I won't be nervous tonight. I get nervous in the morning. Yeah. All right. I don't, well, think, I don't think that far ahead. <laughs> I'll worry about it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Start things off like we're in an Amart vlog. <laughs> in the car on the way there. Shout out Amart. <laughs> Five minutes from the track. Is the camera rolling? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the, you, the stadium's actually right there. You can see it. Can you? Yeah, isn't that the stadium? Uh, looks like it. <laughs> it's race day. Still don't know if I'm gonna be able to shoot. Coming in hot. Oh, yeah, we are. Still don't know like where I'm gonna be able to shoot from or how any of that's gonna work, but, but we're gonna do our best and see what we can make happen and I'm sure it'll be fine, but worst comes to worst, I'd watch my first Supercross race, so. What if, what if after all of this, you you, you can't even film the dirt bikes riding? Yeah, I know. <laughs> all of this work for nothing. Trust me, I've been thinking about that. <laughs> first two guys that we passed today were Eli and Dean. <laughs> and I was like, all right, here we are. On scooters. On scooters, on, why don't we have street scooters? Uh, we're the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Got here late, had no breakfast, went to a Starbucks, that we sat in the line and it ended up that the Starbucks was closed. It was awesome. We're off to a strong start. <laughs> of getting Cam a media badge. So, still don't know how we're gonna pull it off. AJ just gave me his credentials because he's gonna be in gear all day, so he won't need them. And I'm gonna see what I can get done with that, but I think we'll be able to make something work, you know? I'm stoked, I'm stoked. One of the guys I'm looking for this, this season or this week is um, Buddy Antonez. He was my, he was basically my AJ growing up. He was my trainer. So I'd love to run into him and that'll be a full circle story for me, but. A few minutes before qualifying and you don't have goggles. Yeah, good thing I remembered it. <laughs> yeah, better now than Knowing in 20 me, minutes. I would have gone down there without him. <laughs>
great news, great news. So I was in the right place at the right time, got a wristband, and so far, you know, knock on wood, we haven't had any issues shooting. So we're getting in, we're getting good spots, decent shots. They have fans at this round, which is sweet. So we're just, you know, people are coming up and saying, hey, and it's kind of cool, like everybody, who's coming to this tent is coming for AJ because of his YouTube channel, you know, and, and obviously he does schools all over the place, but it's really cool to see, you know. But yeah, I got some great stuff of like the BMX guys. I mean, just all, all good things, man. It's, it's awesome. I'm so thankful to be here. I'm so thankful to be here. Like, I was talking to a guy earlier. He was like, man, you're so lucky to be here or whatever. And like, I don't believe in luck, you know? I, like, God's got a plan for everybody. And this this sure wasn't mine, you know. So I'm I'm so thankful to be here, dude. This is just ridiculous. So manager, mechanic, and cook. Well, whatever they, man. Dude, that's awesome. Can't be scared to work. <laughs> So good news is AJ is in the night show. So that was kind of the goal. So he'll have at least two races, maybe three <laughs> if he makes it to the main. But so now we're just gonna make like an edit of the night, you know, like not coverage like we've been doing. It's gonna be more of like a, uh, like a real edit. So we've been getting in with no problem. This time I'm gonna try to bring my red in and we'll see how that goes. But I think the red has been a good you know, do whatever I want and get away with the badge in the past. So I'm hoping that that's the same story. And yeah, so far so good. We've gotten great footage. So hopefully we have no issues walking in this time. And then uh, I'm gonna make an edit of the 250s and 450s on this channel. And then AJ will just be an edit of him. So should be good.
I mean, could not have been a better day, honestly. There's, there's no way it could have gone any better in any way. Got my cameras inside, which we weren't sure if we were gonna be able to. Was able to film everything I wanted to film. Um, didn't film from the dirt, but you know, maybe we can make that happen this season, I'm not sure. But just the fact that I was able to get there and film everything that we wanted to was, was huge. AJ's happy with how he did, which is awesome. He did great, he had a killer start in the LCQ, but he didn't turn, so he just <laughs> kept going straight. But man, to see, for this, this is my first Supercross race that I've ever seen in person, and it was perfect. I mean, to watch Christian Craig take it home and the emotion that he had to take it home, was incredible because Christian is somebody that has a YouTube channel and I watch him all the time. And then the 450 battle between Roxon and Barsha was unbelievable. I mean, Barsha earned that 100%. I, like, they lapped Eli. I mean, they lapped Eli Tomac. My, my freaking fantasy picks are toast, but it was incredible to watch. It was just honestly spot on, perfect day. So if you want to check out the video that I made for AJ, um, AJ's channel is going to be in the link below. It, it is completely different from this one. The edits are different, all that stuff. So we made them unique, but and that's what we'll do every round. So every round there'll be a video here and a video there. Yeah, I'm so thankful to be here and man, see you for round two.